My children know that he's in jail, that he is in jail because he was born in a different country, in Argentina. My kids know that he, the police took him because of that. These kids that are six and five, they don't understand. He's 29 now. We moved here when he was 13, so his whole life, almost two decades. I can't lose my brother. His children can't lose their father. Whatever's happening at the border is horrible, is horrible. And it's also happening here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We want it to disrupt because it's not business as usual. When you have kids that are being um, damaged, uh, tortured uh, by this official policy, and uh, they really haven't taken their foot off the gas, a little bit because of pressure. They really haven't. The politics of Walker and Ryan and Trump are all cut from the same cloth. And we stand together to say you're not going to divide us against one another. Si se puede. I have so much respect for the youth leaders that we have. So there's a lot of love in that movement, a lot of sacrifice and a lot of bravery. I get energy from that and that keeps me going. I'm an undocumented and a DACA recipient from Mexico City. Just graduated high school in Racine, Wisconsin. Every day, our kids and our families don't know what to do, are living in fear. As the community of Wisconsin, and Milwaukee especially, we are here to make sure Trump listens. Stop separating families. Kids do not belong in cages. from Milwaukee, Sheboygan, Waukesha, Racine. We're here in solidarity for all our people in the struggle. No Trump! No KKK! No fascist USA! No, no Trump! No KKK! No fascist USA! I think it's astonishing how they forget that they were immigrants at one point too. America is already great with all the immigrants and all the cultures that we have in this country, all the languages that we speak, but that's something that he can't understand. <laughs> As you can see, we have a lot of police behind us. Um, I'm not sure what they're planning to do. We haven't been issued a warning or anything yet, so it seems as if they're almost compliant with it. No matter their race, religion, or creed, we are here for everyone, and that's a statement for all of my people. I just graduated from Harlech High School, and uh, I'm a rebel, I guess you could say. We might be relocating, I'm not sure. Just you know, see, see what we can do. No borders, no nation. Being part of a family, being part of an immigrant community, I want to represent my community. I want to be the voice to all of those children that are in suffering. I want to be the voice to all of those families that are in pain to tell Trump, stop acting like the hero, because you are not the hero. You are the villain in this story. We want action, we don't want words. This is our people. Yeah. So let's hear what real values is, what really makes America yeah. great. Let's give a warm hand to Isabel. Yeah. Imagine a seven-year-old on the phone was her dad saying he was picked up by ICE and was not coming home. I was that little girl. My life was shattered that day. It has been almost six years since I felt my father's arms around my baby. Getting our voices heard. You know, my kids, he's their rock. Half of their 
emotional support system and love has just been torn away from them. When we go to visit him, they take the phone. My son was trying to bang on the glass, try to break the glass so then he could just give his father a hug. I will do anything for my children and we're just gonna keep fighting until my kids get what they need, which is their father. My kids, his children, are heartbroken and I am here speaking on his behalf to demand the immediate release of Franco Ferreira. <laughs> We fight every day, and we're going to keep fighting every day. To Donald Trump and all of his wealthy benefactors, shame on them! Shame on them! Shame! 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 What a disgrace! What a disgrace! To pay money to listen to a modern-day dictator, a wannabe dictator. But we're not going to let him, right? Are we going to let him? No! And that's what we're here to say today. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. This is the least. And this is the least we could do for the human rights tragedy that is unfolding in the border and in our community. It is a disgrace. Trump is trying to fuel the flames of modern day fascism in this country. Are we gonna let him do that? No! Are we gonna let him build modern day internment camps? No! Are we gonna let him separate families? No! That's right. He's a brand.